guys, it's Taste. Welcome back to the Slendy Tubby's Growing Tension Battle of the Bosses Clone Wars 5 vs. 5 tournament. Well, this is it, everyone, the final matchup. Who's going to be crowned the winner? We're about to find out. This championship match has team announcer, which consists of the announcer phase one, White Scythe, Little Ronnie Boy, and their clones, challenging team Shadow Tubby, which consists of Shadow Tubby, Lala Phase 2, Headless Dipsy, and their clones. And for this finals matchup, it's going to be best three out of five. Let's see who takes this first round. In three, two, one, go! Now I know these teams very well, and I'm pulling for the announcer's team. I think their melee overall is going to be too much, but we'll see. Anything can happen. Shadow Tubby needs to use a lot of spikes. If he could do that, then I think they have a chance. There you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good damage on little Ronnie boy. They're going to town on him. Oh, White Scythe is going to town on Dipsy. Oh, double, double teaming Shadow Tubby. Look at the announcer's. Looks like he's chasing me. Okay, coming back down in here. Wow, the announcer has lots of hit points. And good melee damage. Well, Ronnie Boy's like, yeah, you tried to hit me? Take some fire. I hit nobody. Okay, they're going over here. The double team in this run. Okay, and White Scythe has got that Dipsy down to half. Hopefully Shadow Tubby can kick the crap out of little Ronnie Boy, but I love little Ronnie Boy. Okay, they're both there. Three on one. Now they're switching their attention to, to Lola. Here comes Shadow. Okay, what's happening over here? Okay, that white sight is on Dipsy very low. And it's two on one over there. And Lola's taking on little Ronnie boy here. Oh, he shot the ad instead. That's good. Okay, little Ron's about to go down. Overwhelmed by ads and Shadow Tubby. Now they're going after the announcer. Announcer's taking care of the ads. Okay, we're going to switch over here. Oh, that Dipsy's down over there. That's not good. Okay, it's 2 on 1 over there. And it's 2 on 1 here. Okay, that Ron is getting kind of low. White Scythe. Look at her go. <laughs> with the melee. Okay, let's stay here. With this Dipsy. Dipsy's getting low. Come on, Lala. Oh, the other White Scythe's coming over to help. Oh, Dipsy's about to go down. Yep, two shadows took care of that. And now they're turning their attention on Lala's. Uh-oh. Okay, little Ron is supposed to go down. White Scythe coming over to help, though. White Scythe's melee is really good. Really good. Spike's over there. Come on, Lala. Watch out for that fire. Whew. Okay, Lala took out little Ronnie boy. Okay. The announcer's getting kind of low, but so is Shadow Tubby. Close match. Spikes. That could take out White Scythe. Oh, it missed. That could have took... Okay, White Scythe is gone. Okay, this is close, guys. Spike's here. Are they going to hit anybody? Well, this is close. The announcer's going to go down. Look at that. It's two on one. Oh, it's three on one. Oh, but White Scythe has lots of hit points. I told you Spike's is going to be the key. Look at this. White Scythe can still win this. She has lots of hit points still. There goes Lala. Now spikes. Those spikes do good damage. Look at this. Shadow Tubby's almost done. Oh my god. This is close. There goes Shadow Tubby. It's one on one. White Scythe is coming back. She's Ooh. gonna do it. Whoa, look at that. She beat a three on one disadvantage to take this opening round for Team Announcer. All right, this is round number two. Team Announcer with that clutch performance by White Scythe is up one to nothing. Let's see who takes the second round. In three, two, one, go! Shadow Tubby's team played an almost perfect round and still lost. I'm not sure if they can re replicate that or not. We'll see. I told you the melee strength of the announcer. That team is really good. Shadow Tubby must use spikes. If he uses that one that just goes up in the air, it doesn't do enough damage. He has to use the spikes, which he did a lot in round number one. Oh, both white sites are going after Shadow Tubby. That could be good for Team Announcer. See that one over there? It doesn't do good damage. Okay, I'm staying here. Ads, white scythe takes care of the ads lickety split. They barely do any damage. Just swings and takes out multiple ones. Okay, spikes? Nope. No spikes. 
Okay, she's dealing with the ads. Meanwhile, <laughs> Shadow Chubby's kicking her in the butt. Come on, come on, Lala. Come over to help. Well, I came over to help White Scythe. Okay, I'm sick. I'm sticking here with Shadow Chubby. Come on, Shadow Chubby. Kick her on. Spikes? Darn it, it keeps using this. That one doesn't do as much damage. You need to do spikes. Uh oh, uh oh. Someone's low over there. Dipsy's low. No, Ron's low. Well, Ronnie Boy is low. Oh, that went nowhere. Oh, no, it's two on one here, though. Dipsy's gonna go down. Okay. This Dipsy's low. Dipsy's low over there. Both Dipsy's are low. Come on, that fire needs to hit. Okay, there goes Ron. One Ron is down. Oh, melee damage by the announcer. He's gonna take out both Dipsy's. Look out. Two more hits. Two more hits from the announcer would take him out. Okay, that Ron is gone. Now they're coming over here. Okay, is White Scythe gone? No, both White Scythe's are still up. There you go, Spikes. There goes, there goes Dipsy. Now they're working on the announcer. Okay, we're gonna go over here with this White Scythe. Whoa, so many things happening. White Scythe going to town on Lulla. Lulla doesn't do much damage. Definitely the advantage to White Scythe here. Yup. White Scythe is just under half. Do the melee damage him down. Shadow Tubby must take out the announcer if they can. Uh-oh. Oh, this this White Scythe has lots of hit points. That Lola is about to go. Oh! It's gonna come down. Okay, the announcer is about to go. Ads! No, 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 no ads! Okay, there's the announcer, but it's two White Scythes. And Lola! Okay. Lala and Shadow Tubby, and Lala's very low. White Scythe still has lots of hit points. Come on! Oh yeah, this one right here has lots of hit points. That's not good. Come on. Come on, Shadow Tubby. Okay, kick. Kick him. Look out! Look out! Oh, he ran right into that! Look how much damage that did! One on one, but this, this White Scythe has lots of hit points. Look out! White Scythe again! Yup! Wow! Team Announcer takes round number two! Alright, this is round number three. Team Announcer is up two to nothing. If they take this third round, they're the champions! Team Shadow Tubby must win this third round or it's over. Let's see what's gonna happen in three, two, one, go! Melee damage! That's what it's all about! Come on, Shadow Tubby! More spikes! If Shadow Tubby would have done a, just a couple more spikes, that second round, they would have won. Okay. Stay away from White Scythe. <laughs> if you can. Really good melee damage. Yeah, kick the crap out of little Ronnie boy. Okay, the announcer beating on Dipsy and White Scythe too. Look how much damage they do together. Having both of them melee is not ideal. <laughs> okay, I'm staying over here with a bunch of them. We'll see. Okay, we're going to stay here. White Scythe and Dipsy. There's Lala coming over to help. Okay, get away from the announcer. You can't have the announcer and White Scythe both meleeing you. Your hit points are just going to drop really fast. Okay, Shadow Tubby's working on little Ronnie boy over there. I see that. Spikes? Nope, not using spikes. That's bad. Both Lala's over here. They're both got a partner in White Scythe. Okay, let's go over here. Both little Ronnie boys. Okay, one Ron is gone. Now Shadow Tubby's kicking the crap out of the second Ron. He needs to use spikes. No, not that one. That one doesn't do much hit points. Damage. Now he's doing ads. Okay. That Dipsy over there is low. I saw that. One Dipsy's down. Over here. I see it. Yep, that Dipsy's down. And this Dipsy's about to go down to the melee. Lola's just walking around. It's looking good. For team announcer to clean sweep the finals. That's never happened before. Okay, there goes Ron. Both Rons are gone. Need to do spikes. Okay. Lala. And Shadow Tubby. Okay, this White Scythe is almost gone. There you go. That's going to take out White Scythe. Oh, there goes. Holy crap, there goes Shadow Tubby. I'm not sure if that was a bug. Holy. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh-oh, that might have been a bug. I'm not sure. I didn't see the hit points of Shadow Tubby. It's not going to matter, though. Look how many hit points the announcer still has. 
He has like 90% hit points. Oh, this is Ooh. over. Wow, a clean sweep, dominating performance. The winner of the Slendy Tubby's Growing Tension Battle of the Bosses Clone Wars 5 vs. 5 tournament is Team Announcer. An absolutely superb effort by your champions. Well deserved. Congratulations once again to Team Announcer. They beat Team Allen, Team Extreme, Team Tinky Tank, and finally Team Shadow Tubby to claim the victory. And although they lost, you have to give Team Shadow Tubby a lot of credit. They had a fantastic tournament as well. So with the winner and second place determined, we're now going to do a third and fourth place matchup. This matchup will feature Team Typhlo, who lost to Team Shadow Tubby in the semifinals. And this team consists of Typhlo, Carmison, Sergeant Morales, and their clones. Going up against a team who lost to Team Announcer in their semifinal matchup, Team Ghost Woman, which consists of Ghost Woman, K Phase 1, Arrow Phase 2, and their clones. Okay, this is round number one. This one is best two out of three. Let's see who takes this opening round. In three, two, one, go! I love Typho, you guys know that, but I think Ghost Woman's team will win this just because of Melee and Tornado Shadow, and Sergeant Morales doesn't have a lot of hit points, but he does have that lightning. There goes Morales, he's down over there. There goes the second Morales. Not good. Okay, gotta take out Arrow here. Come on, take him out. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Couple more hits. Wow, Arrow is so good. His hit points don't seem to go down. Come on. Finally, he's down. Okay, now, over here. They're gonna come help. Who's alive over here? Okay, Karmason's alive. Both Karmasons are alive. Okay, Spikes on Cave. Wow, Ghost Woman still has lots of hit points. Looking good for Ghost Woman's team. Look how close this is, guys. I don't know who's going to win. Typhlo is slightly ahead now because of those ads. But one Tornado Shadow, even it out. Okay, Spikes. That could be good. Oh, she got out of the way of the Spikes. Tornado Shadow, no. Oh, he got out of there. He got out of there just in time. Holy crap. Look how close this is. Look how close this is. I don't know who's going to win. No idea. Don't you dare do another Tornado Shadow. She did. Oh, no. Crap. The Great Equalizer. Come on. Come on. Who's going to win? Oh, my goodness. Just a sliver of health left on Team Typhlo. Wow. They take this opening round. Alrighty, the one, this is round number two. Team Ghost Woman must win this second round in order to force a third and deciding one. If they can't do it, they'll finish in fourth place and Team Typhlo will finish in third. Let's see what's gonna happen in three, two, one, go! Come on, Team Typhlo, you can do it. I have a feeling though, Ghost Woman's team is gonna be upset. They're gonna come back with a vengeance, no doubt. Watch out, it's gonna be Tornado Shadows. Could be all kinds of things. There's Tornado Shadow. Oh no. Morales. Walked right into that. Not good. Okay, Spike's over there. That could be good. Come on, Typhlo. Yeah, stay out of the fray. Do your spikes. And stay away from that Tornado Shadow. Oh, Morales is getting absolutely rocked. Whoa, Morales is almost dead. Big time. Come on. Oh boy. Oh. Morales. His hit points. He's, he's gone already. Oh, no. Not good now. The other Morales. He's gone. I told you Ghost Woman's team is upset. Really upset. Not good. Typhlo is down two members already. Oh, boy. Come on. Wow, they're screaming. Big time on Cave. He's still up, though. He's starting to get low. This Karmason's getting low. Oh, come on. Wow, Karmason is down. Holy crap. They are absolutely destroying Team Typhoon right now. I can't believe how much they're getting dominated. Come on, Typhoon. Do something. Please. As aren't going to cut it right now. Oh, there goes Typhoon. I wasn't even looking. He fell to a bug or something. He was slow. Oh my, look at this. Not one member of Team Ghost Woman is even dead. Well, it all comes down to this, a sudden death third round, and I'm not liking Team Typhlo's chances after the destruction I just witnessed. 
in round number two. All right, whoever wins this round finishes in third. Whoever loses finishes in fourth. Let's see what's going to happen in three, two, one, go. Ghost Woman is going to finish in third. I cannot believe how good they were in that second round. They did everything perfectly. That was a flawless, that's one of the most flawless rounds I've ever seen. Everything they did was perfect. Wow. And I'm not sure if Typhlo bugged. It doesn't matter though, they were kicking serious butt. Whoa, there goes, there goes Morales. Oh no, they're down one. Not looking good. They're down one already. Uh oh, and now it's three on one. Crap. Where's the other Morales? Are both Morales is down? Both Moraleses are down. Okay, this arrow's getting low, but Ghost Woman knows she's up two players, so she's just taking her time. Okay, there goes Arrow. Now they're working on Ghost Woman. This Karmacin's going down. Oh no, Kaso has lots of hit points. All kinds of hit points. Okay, there goes Karmacin. It's two Ks and an Arrow. Oh, this is bad. Okay, that K is going to go down. Okay, that's good. Carmison, there goes there goes Arrow. There comes some ads. Carmison's about to go down, though. There goes Carmison. It's two on one. Typhlo versus Ghost Woman and Cave. Uh-oh. This is bad. Okay, he has half his hit points. Oh, Cave still has lots of hit points. Okay, you need to take out Ghost Woman... No, 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 don't you dare. No, 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 that's bad. That's bad. <gasps> oh, there goes Typhlo. Wow, now it's just the ads. That's it. Once these ads are gone, the round is over. One more. There it is. Wow, Ghost Woman takes third place. And even though Team Typhlo finishes fourth, I still love that guy. <laughs> so there you have it, everyone. Team announcer are the champions. Finishing in second place is Team Shadow Tubby. Finishing in third is Team Ghost Woman. And fourth place goes to Team Typhlo. And with that, this Clone Wars 5 vs. 5 tournament is over. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.